Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day. October 18th, Fauvism, 1905. The term Fauvism derives from the French word fauve, beasts, which the critic Louis Voxels used for the first time on October 18, 1905 in an article in Gil Bloss magazine, after having visited the Autumn Salon of that same year. The contrast that the presence of a bust of a marked classical style, made by Albert Marquet, produced in room number 7 of the Salon, surrounded by exuberant and colorful paintings by Henri Matisse, André Dirac, Maurice de Vlamenc and Georges Rouault, provoked in the French critic the impression that they had put Donatello among wild beasts. The following year, this qualification was again applied to the room where the works of Braque, Camoin, Dufy, Fries, Menguin, Marinot, Valtat, Marquet, Vlamenc and Matisse were exhibited. As in the case of other artistic movements of the 20th century, the critics coined a pejorative term, which the public would assimilate, and which would later enter, without derogatory connotations, into the history of art. Fauvism was an eminently French and pictorial movement, in an approximate chronological frame between 1898 and 1907. Matisse and Marquet were already working on works that anticipated the Fauvist plasticity before the Great Revolution that produced their presence at the 1905 Autumn Salon, despite the year the full flowering of Fauvism has been 1906. The presence of Fauve works was surrounded by controversy. On October 18, 1905, the third edition of the Salon d'Autumn opened at the Grand Palais in Paris. The hall featured a retrospective exhibition of Ingres and Manet, hanging under the skylight, along with 1,636 paintings, sculptures and drawings by contemporary artists from around the world, including the Russians Kandinsky and Jolinsky, who had flown in from Munich for the occasion. The Salon was founded and chaired by Franz Jourdain, under the patronage of prominent late 19th century figures such as Eugene Carrier and Auguste Renoir. The Autumn Salon was preceded by the Salon de Independence of that same year, to which Matisse, Marquet, Dirac, Puy, Camoin, and others had sent works and been described as incoherent. The presence of his paintings in the Autumn Salon put his mentors in a difficult situation, as, without grounds to exclude the incoherent pieces, defended by some of the directors such as Desvilliers and Rouault, they decided to group them in a separate room. Delegates Armand Dayet and Léonce Benedite chose Room 7 to confine the work of that group of painters, whose main characteristics were the use of bright and striking colors scattered over the canvases, in amorphous spots or spots that configured grotesque scenes and shapes. These paintings were hung alphabetically by the author's name. In addition, delegates divided the participating sculptures across the different rooms of the Grand Palais, creating a great contrast. The paintings on display were taken as an artistic manifestation of some undisciplined, anarchic young people, rather than as avant-garde creations by artists with some common concerns. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.